over and you can see it looks like human remains there coffins are in bits and yeah not a a good site really for such a beautiful mausoleum you can see coffin parts there as well hi guys and welcome back to the channel so we're at a place called Bunratty graveyard and in fact Bunratty castle is literally across the road from us here we have a huge hotel and it is situated right beside this beautiful graveyard we have the ruins of the church there and what's interesting about the ruins is there's a huge mausoleum inside it but we're going to take a look at that in a moment um, we're going to take a walk really around the graveyard first and read some of the headstones that are here and that I'd say there is probably a vault as well more than likely actually see some nice designs on the the plaque over it I'd say that is an old vault want to have a look at the plaque Not sure what that is. I think that's the entrance to it. Is it? Yeah. Is so it is that, that just a big stone down into it then or what? It's one of those stone slabs. Oh, so it's probably been... That covered the door with. Uh, what would you call it? It looks like you can Put see there it. later. We might have a, a look in there. I don't know whether we're going to actually see anything on it. I do see some nice designs there. It looks like... A person in the center of it and it looks like to the memory of I see 18 there I see it's spelt the number six unfortunately the Sun now has come out and it's just creating a, a, a shadow that I can't make out but I can see some nice designs on that one there we might see later if we can have a a little look down there. The ground is soggy, wet. But just as you enter into this graveyard, there are some lovely grave slabs with very elaborate designs. We also see a number of grave markers as well. And that just tells us that there are people buried there, but they couldn't afford... A headstone so these are the ones here that caught my eye when we walked in and see if I can get a better shot for ye it says here lies the body of Brian Keane who departed this life December the 4th 1816 aged 54 may he rest in peace amen but look at the carving of this it's the whole crucifixion scene basically but you have keys there you have angels you have cherubs see the man with the top hat and the spear just yeah hold on now now just here I'd say it's probably a soldier you can see the keys there possibly the Lamb of God there on the other side there's another man, he holds like a hammer. We've more detail then at the top. We have the scales. And then of course, 20 pieces of silver and our Lord on the cross. Absolutely fascinating, beautiful designs. And the one beside it, if I can get across, I might go around this way, is very similar to that one but slightly different as well. So we have little cherubs there. We've like the curtain around the top of it. We have the rooster. We have Mary. We have these keys as well. I'm not sure what the symbol of the keys are, but I'm sure you'll be able to tell me down in the comments below. 
flowers. It, this is just beautiful. It really, really is. And this says, here lieth the body of... Ooh. Water. Oh, and that, that won't even... I think it's John, is it? I'm actually not sure. Or Don. Don, it looks like. Don Keen, who died the 22nd, 1826, aged six. six. Just oh. six. He was only six. Some grave so work. these are obviously um, related because the two of them are keen. Wow. And both really, really beautiful pieces of work there. Absolutely stunning. I'd love to see them standing upright somewhere. Because eventually the, the weather is going to destroy them. So 1826. And this one here. This one. But really, really beautiful. Oops, so it's so cold. The gimbal has decided to act up. So just a few more of those field markers. Two big tombs here put together. And that's the ruins there. It's hard to believe we were actually driving in torrential rain there a little while ago. This one, unfortunately, we won't be able to read. But I'm just wondering, is this also um, a vault? Maybe it is. And that would have been the entrance. It looks like a vault, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, well, we just... Yeah, it is. It's very badly overgrown. There's a lot more tomb slabs here than we're usually used to. This is a huge family plot. Frost is the name. In memory of the Frost family of the Hill and Bally Morris. And we have several names. We have Patrick, Anastasia, Robert, Catherine. And the dates are from 1878 right up to 1990 there. Imagine you had a Jack Frost. Then. Oh, if there was a Jack Frost, it'd be perfect. Especially the cold we're feeling today. Robert, Michael, Patrick. Patrick is 2017 and then there's 1925. We have a William Frost, Hanora Frost, Bridget Frost, James Frost, and Mary Eleanor Frost. So they're all actually buried in here, and they would actually be buried in here. We often see these huge graves. So they're buried down deep. We've no grave liners straight into the muck, side by side and on top of each other. So there's a few newer ones here as we walk around. It's a nice area. But as I said, Bonratty Castle is right opposite it. Here's more Frost. Frost and Turner family. Beautiful grave there, Donna. Yeah, look at this. Oh, all done up for Christmas. And Christmas is always a hard time for families. Uh, when they, they miss a loved one. Teddy bears. Aren't they? Teddy bears. Robins. I love robins. We've actually Christmas lights on this one. Um, in the shapes of robins. Good idea to keep them from getting wet, isn't it? Two teddies in a bag to keep them preserved. Look at the little man and woman on a, a little seat. So cute. And then it has mum and dad there on that picture. Those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day. Unseen, unheard, but always. Always near. Beautiful words too. So that's this one is really, really decorated. And a lot of the, the newer graves here in Ireland are like this because we're lucky enough that we are allowed to decorate our graves this one has two beautiful little dogs on it. Lawrence Henry and his wife and their son Michael. Little dogs there. And the dogs are faced to the headstone, which I really, really like, actually. 
yeah. Wait till we have a look at the little dogs. Can't forget them. There they are. Beautiful. So, Grave Visitations has a gate, and the gate actually leads into the inside of the church, um, or the ruins of the church. Unfortunately, you can't kind of make your way around there, but once again, I wonder was it someone homeless? That looks like heavy-duty plastic there. I wonder was there somebody homeless maybe staying there? Getting sheltered. Oh, that's so sad to think about. But this huge mausoleum... And I will bring you in the other way as well, but it's just we can't walk up from the other side up to here where all those uh, grave slabs are. But it says, um, okay. erected in, oh, we won't be able to see it, will we? This tomb was erected in the year 1820 for the remains of James Butler of Castle something, something, Castle something. Klein Castle Klein, Klein it looks like, yeah. But it's a huge mausoleum, so I do presume there's other family members in there as well, and not just James. It's huge. And that one really has stood the test of time because it's, it's done. Do you know, see the roof and all? Huge. And the entrance would have been right down here. And maybe this was his own personal gate in because we're surrounded by a, a rail. So we'll go back out. We have a shovel there as well. Hmm, we we'll close the gate and we walk down around this way. Oh, it does. Gosh, the size of this one. Man, it looks like the roof is starting to cave in, doesn't it? Yeah, there is a piece missing. Oh, there's like all those pieces have moved. This is huge though. Wow. Can you imagine the money that was spent on these places? Jeepers, look at that. Whoa, there's two doors to it. That's a bit crazy, isn't it? Never seen one like that. Two for the price of one. Left and right. Let's see. Whoa, look at that. Jesus, that is huge. We might see if we can read. Oh, I hope it don't fall. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you nearly went and I nearly went. Right. Sacred to the memory of the Stuttart family. 1871. Stuttart. Wow. Stuttart. That's a, an unusual name. We always have to give the doors a knock. Hello, is there anybody in here? Right, we have a steadfast door. Let's see the other one. Gosh, that is slippy. I'd imagine the rain now coming off that is all... Whoa, see, I nearly went again. Is all going in under there. I'd say it's going to be a mess. Oh, I keep falling. <laughs> right, I'm going to have a look first. And if we can see anything, we'll let you take a peep as well. Right, guys, so that's the inside of one door. It's an absolute mess in there as well unfortunately um just i think there's some remains down there so there you are the guys that's inside one door and you can see it looks like human remains there coffins are in bits and yeah not a a good sight really for such a beautiful mausoleum you can see coffin parts there as well oh lord it is like it's been turned upside down it really is and then if we go across to the other side and unfortunately this one is exactly the same in a really bad state so they built these beautiful big mausoleums and unfortunately that is what happens I know a lot of you say um, that you opt for cremation um, because of these videos and showing you what we can see in this mausoleum. You can see skulls and human remains, unfortunately. Right, so you've seen what's inside there. Such a beautiful, magnificent mausoleum and unfortunately, it's a mess. I mean, I did say 
that the bank going down will probably let in lots of water and that's certainly what looks what has happened unless it's been something like grave robbers or vandalism I'm not sure but you can see it's a mess human remains everywhere coffins upside down but it is a magnificent mausoleum right so let's move on another beautiful um could be a vault this one but it certainly is gorgeous lovely urn on top of it all the ivy beautiful rails surrounding it a little bit of damage to the rail just here but you can see after all the years like it just it tends to uh, rust away with the weather and that takes me to this beautiful Celtic cross this is gorgeous wow it's huge in loving memory of Martin Corbett I'll try and get in a little bit near to see Martin Corbett, J.P. Bunratty House, who died on the 13th day of March, 1913, aged 92. His wife Susan is there and their son Patrick Joseph. And then there's sons there as well, George, 1918, William. William John, or F-R-C-S-I, not sure what that means. Um, you can tell me down in the comments. Uh, November 1941, age 73. Reverend Martin Burke. Uh, he died in 1951, aged 80. Ernest Lewis Corbett, 1960, aged 73. And Arthur Edward Corbett, B.I., January 1965, aged 83. So they all seem to have lived... Uh, good long lives. Well, the majority of them have anyway. I wonder if that BL actually. Is it BL? Oh, is, is that barrister? I don't know. Barrister Law, maybe. Looks, I don't know. Or it could be a J, no. It's hard to see. It's kind of marked where I wanted to, you know, where I wanted to read it. But uh, the light is failing on us fast here. I've just noticed this as well. I don't know whether that was a crypt. Kind of looks like it was, doesn't it? Gosh, look at that. I think it was, was it? Yeah. I don't know. Can you see that? There's a huge hole up here as well. If we try and take a look in here, if I can get a spot, maybe there. There's a nameplate in there amongst what looks to me like human remains. Just there. But I don't know whether maybe an edit we'll be able to see that. But you can see lots and lots of human remains. Maybe another name plate there, I'm not quite sure, but that's in an awful mess as well. And do you know, I kind of figured when I seen it, it didn't look exactly fancy. Like, do you know, it kind of seems to be under the grass there. It looks like it's been damaged over the years, which is such a shame, really. Ma yeah, it's a poor man's mausoleum, will we say, compared to the, to the ones that we have seen before and even here. I'm going to bring you quickly inside. I'm just checking my mic. Quickly inside the church, the runes. Just to show you, whoops, my fingers in the way now. Just to show you this mausoleum and the size of it in here. Look at that. That's huge. And those big rails going around it. A lot of rubbish in here really, isn't there? I wonder what them boards are. They may have been just from doing graves or something. There's Kennedy's buried there. 
Like, we couldn't get in there. We tried to get in there, but it's too dangerous to walk in on. So that's the huge mausoleum there. It's fantastic, really. There is a nice kind of a plaque here. Maybe it's a coat of arms. I'd say it's a coat of arms. Yeah, it's like a dragon on it. It's like a dragon up the top of it, yeah. It's not really coming out on the camera. Air or oh, there's actually more right in there. Isn't oh, is there? Might be able to read that little bit before we finish up. Here, these lines are inscribed here in memory of Mary Butler, the beloved child of Henry Butler, Esquire, who died on the 29th of, or, yeah, I think it's 29th of May at Portobello of Hooping. Hooping. Oh, it's Hooping Cough. She died of hoop and cough. Wow. Oh. And was interred here on the second day of, of June, June 1831, aged just 12, 12 and one week. Wow. Oh. Hooping, hooping cough. That. There it is, guys, just there, hooping cough. It's hard to show you because it's behind the rails. Just there, hooping cough. Sad, isn't it? Yeah. 12 years old. I, I had in my mind actually younger. So did I. I don't know why, but I thought I it was a, a, a baby like. Wow, so sad. But it took her. If she died on the. Show me that torch for a second. I wanted to see. She died on the 29th day of May, but she wasn't interred till the second day of June. So a few days after she died, she was eventually interred into this mausoleum. That is so sad. Gosh, I'm glad now we came in and we were able to to read that because we had had a look at it, but we had uh, yeah, it's all esquires in here, really. Esquires, it? yeah, and obviously the butlers mm -hmm. are prominent families because I mean to be buried inside the ruins of a church, you know, you have to be important. These are also butlers here. That cross there says Kennedy, so no, uh, not family. I wonder did they date back to the castle, the, the family? Yeah. So that's the other mausoleum. I'm not even going to try and have a look. It's too cold, the grass is too wet, and I just want to get back in the car and drive back to where we're staying for the night. We're actually down to meet Kahala's family down here, so we've done a few videos while we're here as well um so guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell and that will let you know when i upload next but for now guys take care god bless and i'll talk to you all again soon